Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm going to show you the easiest way how to make these beautiful spiral colorful earrings. I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it with the step-by-step -step instructions. Subscribe, like, share and comment if you want to see more of me and inspire me for more videos. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 OC beads. Iris color, white color, turquoise color and pink color. Here I'm also using earring findings in black color and this is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 mm source size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 as well and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm starting my work by picking up 16 of those beautiful iris beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work and now what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by make here a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull gently and I'm going to make just one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Now what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction and I'm taking two iris bead and one white bead and I skip the bead that's on my way and I go through the following I take the same sequence, I skip one and I go through the following. Again, skip one and go through the following. And I will continue this guys until I finish this row and I will have eight of those elements in total. Okay, I'll finish this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step and again I'm exiting out of this bit. I skip the next one and I go through the following, which is in fact the very first bit that I started this row from. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I'm going through these two iris beads and I'm going to take two iris beads and two turquoise beads and I'm going here in the last iris bead. I take the same sequence and I go in the last iris and again okay my friends and this is the fourth step with this sequence and now I will finish this off camera and I'll meet you here at my last step of this row Okay my friends and this is the last step that I do here and what I want to do is go through these three iris bead. At each last step of every row I will go through three beads to step up in my next row. Okay I have this. And I take two iris bead and three pink beads this time. Every time at each row I increase 
the number of the colorful beads with one. So one white, two turquoise, three pink. And the number of the iris beads remains the same. They are two. Okay, take this, go in the last iris, like you did before. It is an easy formula for a spiral earring. Then again, okay, and this is the fourth time that I'm doing it. And I need to do this four more times and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step. And if you remember from the previous row, at each last step of the row, I go through the three iris beads here. Through the last three iris beads. Because I want to step up in my next row. And I take now two iris and four white beads and I go in the last iris the same step again and again going to continue guys this until the end here and I'll be back for the last step okay my friends and here I am at my last step and like I did before I'm going through these last three iris beads and in this way I'm stepping up in my next row okay and I take two iris and five turquoise beads this time because you know I increase the number of the colorful beads with one at each row if you remember and I go in the last iris bead the iris beads are something like a framework okay and again two iris and five turquoise and I go in the last iris and two iris five turquoise and go here in the last iris okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and i'll meet you here and i'm here at my last step guys where i have two iris and five turquoise and i'm going through these three last iris and in this way i'm stepping up in my next row And I'm sure, guys, that you could guess what's coming up next. It's two iris and six pink beads. And again, I'm going in the last iris. Then again, two iris and six pink beads. Go in the last iris. two iris and six pink beads go in the last iris okay guys and i'm going to finish this row the same way and i'll meet you here at this point okay my friends and i have here the same sequence of two iris beads and six purple beads and again always when i finish a row and start a new row I go through the last three iris beads okay then uh, I'm sure you know what's coming up next two iris beads and seven of those beautiful white beads seven of them with my one more in each row okay then again the last iris which is the framework color in this case a 
again the same sequence go here in the last one and as always I'm showing you the first three steps and then I'll let you do this by yourself until the end and I will meet you here at this point okay my friends and here I am at my last step where I'm adding the same sequence and again as always I go through the last three iris beads in order to finish this row and step up in my next one okay and for my next row what I need are 10 beads and they are all from this framework iris color because I'm finishing my work now okay I take 10 why 10 because if I added color I would need in this row two iris and then eight from the next color but now as I'm finishing they're all from one and the same color and they are two plus eight so they are ten okay and I'm going here in the last iris bit so it is the same formula basically all the time okay then again I need ten beads and I'm going here in the last iris and then again go in the last in the last here iris bit okay now guys I'm going to continue this until I finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay my friends and this is the last 10 beads that I'm adding here and I'm all as always I'm going through these three beads when I finish a row okay this will be my last row and I take two iris seed beads my earring finding and two iris seed beads and as I'm exiting here one bead away from the angle that I have I go bit I go one bead before the angle and I pull now I have this and I want to reinforce it make a knot and cut my thread and I want to make my knot guys here at this point where my angle is how I do this as always I make a loop go twice through the loop I've made pull gently and then go through some beads in this direction you could repeat this knot several more times when you're ready go through the next one or two beads and then cut your thread it's not a, a good idea to cut next to a knot and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my easy spiral colorful earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button if you still haven't in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials I will be so happy to see them you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.